My name is Paul Durish. I'm a professor here in informatics. Most of my work uh, concerns the, the, the human side of information technology, uh, pretty much everything to do with how organizations make use of information technology, how we build systems that, that are, are more usable, how we can create tools to help build new peop help people build new technologies of them for themselves, and how people use technology in the course of everyday life. We came up with Nimeo, which is a uh, sort of hybrid between what's called a tangible interface, so kind of computer that um, exists in the world, and an ambient display. In itself, what we really um, were trying to gear it towards was just basically the sort of office toy mentality. Computers have gone from being things that we use to things that we live with. So what does it mean to be living with technology? Well, one of the things I like about the word informatics is that nobody knows what it is, which gives us the opportunity to define it. Um, and, and that's really, I mean, arguably what we're, what we're doing. When we, we started this, we wanted to do a kind of um, interface that was a bit playful, but also kind of dealt with awareness issues. Trying to see how technology can be used for more aesthetic and less functional purposes. It's a way of responding to the natural social cues that people pick up on. Um, basically, the way that Nimeo works is that they're uh, a set of wirelessly networked toys and they're all responsive to both sound, the peripheral sort of sound, and to interacting directly with the Nimeos. The interface itself is for um, sort of a kind of uh, emotionally rich communication over a distance. Uh, it has a microphone inside, and it'll pick up that sound, and it'll transmit that to all of the other Nimeos. When I'm talking, they're responsive to that. Most of my work, since I am trying to work in this very interdisciplinary mode and work with people from all over the campus, is all about putting together ideas in new and unexpected ways. And so just the, um, the kinds of accommodations we have here in Brown Hall are really helping to facilitate that. We're really focusing on the ways in which technology can be embodied and not just in a computer as traditionally thought of. You know, how can we embed technology into everyday objects and what benefits does that bring, what does that show us, and also at the same time realizing that sometimes there's a place for there not to be technology embedded somewhere.